A big moment for a big Aussie this morning with Liz Cambage drafted into America's Women's Basketball League, the WNBA. The 203 centimetre centre was selected by Oklahoma's Tulsa Shock at number two in the draft. 10 Sports reporter Liam Cox spoke with, uh, spoke with Cambage moments after the announcement. Liz, such a proud moment. Congratulations down in Australia. We're all so happy for you. How does it feel to be drafted into the WNBA? Ah, it's just such an amazing feeling right now, you know. All that weight and stress has been lifted off my shoulders. So, yeah, it's awesome. And naturally, you've drawn comparisons yeah. with Lauren Jackson. That must be humbling. Yeah, you know, it's always awesome. Like, she's a, she's like one of the biggest players over here, Lauren is, and she's three-time MVP. But people keep comparing us and we're nothing alike, but it's always nice. Exactly. Now, reports before the draft that you didn't want to go to Tulsa. Can you just clear that up for us? That, that's not quite correct? Uh, I was going on about how much I love the Lakers and how much I love LA and, you know, I, I did want to go number one. Everyone wants to go number one, but, you know, I think they took it the wrong way and it was all like, I don't want to go to Tulsa, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going and, you know, I can't wait to play there. Good stuff. And Marion Jones, a former Olympic sprinter, has signed with your team, Tulsa. What do you make of that? Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm not one to judge, really, so I guess uh, she's, uh, she's tweeted me and she can't wait to meet me and I really can't wait to meet her, so yeah. Huge day for you over there. How are you going to celebrate? Bed. I am so tired. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so tired and hungry. I'm ready to curl up in bed with some food and just go to sleep. Well, enjoy the sleep. Congratulations. We're all so proud of you back home and all the very best over there in your rookie season. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Isn't she a glamour? I think Liam's still got a bit of a star in his eye there. Welcome back to The Long Lunch. Australia's Liz Cambage has been picked up by the Tulsa Shock in the WNBA as the overall number two draft pick. Cambage was the leading scorer, shot blocker and field goal percentage leader in Australia's WNBL and named the most valuable player. With the second pick in the 2011 WNBA draft, the Tulsa Shock select Elizabeth Campage from Australia. Connecticut's Maya Moore was selected as the first pick by the Minnesota Lynx and for Cambage, who plays a very physical game, the WNBA will suit her style, but she's quick to point out the differences between herself and superstar Lauren Jackson. Lauren's very, very versatile, you know, she's got a very big outside game knocking down those threes all the time and I'm a lot more inside, you know, from the high post and low post, that's really my range. And while it's a big leap for the young Aussie rookie, her salary is expected to be only around 46000 US dollars. Well, we caught up with Liz uh, a little earlier today for a chat. Yes, indeed, and we started by asking her if she knows anything about her new home, Tulsa. No, I don't. I hardly know anything. I just know it's a little, very religious town and it's in Oklahoma. That's all I really know. Uh, Liz, talk us through uh, some of the emotions you've been through today. Uh, this morning was just nerve-wracking and just went forever. And then when she called my name and it was just like the weight lifted off my shoulders and now it's just right now I haven't even had time to take it all in it's just been go 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 with all these interviews but yeah it's pretty amazing yeah Liz you've had an amazing 12 months you debuted of course in the world championships and of course only recently MVP award in the WNBL here in Australia of course are you slightly pinching yourself c considering what has happened in the last 12 months yeah, the, the past year has been absolutely crazy, you know, making the world's team, um, winning WNBL, winning MVP, and now coming to the WNBA. It's just been a crazy whirlwind, really. But, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a ta time and taking it all in. So Tulsa last season uh, was 6-28, and 28, not a great uh, record. What have you seen of them and what do you think you can uh, bring to the side come uh, season start in June? To be honest, I've seen nothing to be... And where we live in Australia, the games are on in the middle of the night and we don't really get to see that many. So I, had, I know nothing about Tulsa really, but, you know, I'm hoping to bring my positive attitude and turn it around and win some more games. Now, Liz, of course, you were born in London. Uh, I'm interested to know when you moved to Australia and why did you take up playing basketball? Was it purely because you were just so much taller than everyone else? 
Uh, I moved to Australia when I was three months old with my mum. We moved back here and I started playing basketball because mum thought it was a good way for me to make new friends in a new town. We, uh, we just moved to the morning to turn peninsula from Melbourne City. So yeah, I got in. I hated it at first, but she pushed me and now I'm here today. Yeah, you mentioned you hated it. Now, I've read something on the internet. Your, your mother, Julie, is obviously quite honest. She said that you couldn't catch, dribble or shoot when you first started. How did you eventually become quite obviously quite good? <laughs> I don't know. I never remember being that bad. I know it took me a, a couple of games to get my first basket, but she makes me sound so unco. I was a bit unco. Yeah, she's being, she's right. Yeah, that's true. Right. Lots yeah. of hard work, I guess. Get exactly. To here today. A lot of hard work. That's right. Um, what does what does this signing now uh, mean for your career in terms of the Opals and um, still playing with some of the Australian players? Will you plan to come back to spend some time in the WNBL before uh, the London Games next year? Yeah, I'll be home. Like um, this season's really quick. The WNBA it's only like five months, so I'll be home end of September and. Yeah, and then we'll make decisions if I stay and play WBL or go over and play some Europe ball. Well, there's one question that I guess you're going to be asked all morning and probably for the rest of your, I guess, as certainly the rest of your first season, one of your new teammates, Marion Jones, of course, the, uh, the former Olympic gold medalist, well, disgraced Olympic gold medalist. Firstly, have you met her and uh, what, what, are your, what are your expectations of Marion as a basketballer? I've really come here with no expectations of anyone or anything so and I haven't met her I'll probably meet her tomorrow morning I fly to Tulsa this evening so yeah you know I wish she tweeted me before and I tweeted back saying I can't wait to meet you so it should be yeah it'll be interesting and I can't wait all right at uh, least lots of comparisons of course with Lauren Jackson I know you say that you guys are nothing alike but has she had any advice for you in the lead up to uh, this draft pick yeah, you know, we've always spoken a lot. She's a good friend and I've always looked up to her and it's awesome having her there and really the most advice she's given me is to just be myself and go do my thing, you know. Go show her, go show these guys what us Aussies are made of. Well, you mentioned the Aussies, of course. So you're the 18th Australian to play in the WNBA. Do you think more players like yourself will encourage young girls in Australia to take up the sport? I hope so. Um, three of us are... Jenna O'Hay just signed with um, LA and Rachel just got um, drafted to Atlanta. She was 18th, which is awesome. We're all Boomers players and I know we've got a lot of fans, all the girls down at Boomers come and watch us play every weekend and you know I really hope we inspire them and young Australian girls all around the world to keep playing basketball and get out there and play sport because you can be here one day. Now, I don't expect you to tell us exactly what you're earning, but the figure being tossed about is around 49, 50,000 US dollars. It's probably less than a lot of people would expect, given when we look at someone like Andrew Bogut, the kind of money that he brings in, and even someone like Lauren Jackson uh, took that she probably only earns about $100,000 playing in the WNBA. Uh, why go there instead of Europe, where there's such big money on offer? This is an off-season. This um, WNBA is off-season for Europe and WNBL. So I'd, it's better than me sitting around at home doing nothing. And, you know, I'm stuck on this contract for three years on a rookie contract. I can't do anything until then. But, you know, money's money and it's better than, you know, working nine to five, I guess, in an office. Yeah, you're spot on there. What, what about the Tulsa fans? Have you actually met any of them? Have they been welcoming? Have you heard much since you've been drafted? No, uh, they've been very welcoming on Twitter and um, I Skyped them before, uh, said hello and they were all crazy and cheering, it was so cute, they seem awesome, so yeah, I can't wait to meet them when I land in Tulsa this evening. Alright Liz, we'll leave it there, congratulations, it's obviously been a huge day for you, uh, really great to see another Aussie, uh, so high up in the draft pick and uh, we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much, have a good day guys. Teenage basketball sensation Liz, Liz Cambridge has hit the big time, taken at pick number two in the women's NBA draft. The 19-year-old Victorian is packing up her bags and moving to Oklahoma after being selected by the Tulsa Shock. It was an early start for the Bulleen Boomers. Liz Cambridge's teammates gathered at a city hotel before 5am. Across the other side of the world, the Opal Centre prepared for her life-changing moment. With the second pick in the 2011 WNBA draft, the Tulsa Sharks select Elizabeth Cambridge from Australia. 
and it didn't take long for the Americans to warm to her outgoing personality. Right, so, so far, what's the coolest thing that's happened to you here in the United States? Getting drafted right now. This is probably the coolest moment right now. The 203 centimetre giant helped Bulleen win their first WNBL championship last month. And two of her teammates also got drafted Rachel Jarry to Atlanta and Jenna O'Hay to LA, meaning there's now up to 10 Australians playing in the world's best women's league. To train and play against the Americans is who we need to beat over at the Olympics to win gold. So I think it's the best time for us to all go over. Cambridge follows in the footsteps of Lauren Jackson, who was pick one 10 years ago, as well as Andrew Bogut, who was pick one back in 2005. The pioneer, though, was Michelle Timms, the first Aussie to ever play abroad. I don't think the game will be her biggest challenge. I think the off-court stuff will be her biggest challenge. Cambridge will be thrust straight into the spotlight. One of her new teammates is disgraced Olympic sprinter Marion Jones. Um, I'm not one to judge, really, so... I guess uh, she's, uh, she's tweeted me and she can't wait to meet me and I really can't wait to meet her. But the Victorian may not be lost to Australia for good. Already WNBL clubs are throwing six-figure sums at her to come and play back home in the off-season. I've got to go where the money is. If there's money back in Oz, I'd love to come and play. Kelly Underwood, 10 News. Michelle Timms and Lauren Jackson open the door. Now other basketballers are being recruited for America's big league. The latest is Liz Cambich, drafted this morning by American WNBA team Tulsa Shock. The 19-year-old Victorian was number two pick in the draft. Duncan Hunstow reports. Australia supplied the youngest and tallest player in the draft. She is a beast in the lane. She gets low, she gets the ball, she attacks. Liz Cambridge didn't have to wait long to find out whether she'd been picked up. The Tulsa Sharks select Elizabeth Cambridge from Australia. The 203 centimetre centre helped Bulleen win the WNBL title last season and was the competition's leading scorer with 22 points a game. I think the American League is a lot more physical than the Australian League and I'm a really physical player so I'm really excited to finally get out and play hard. Two of Cambridge's Bulleen teammates are also joining the WNBA. Jenna O'Hay has signed with the LA Sparks and Rachel Jarry joins Minnesota. It's amazing. I'm like, I've got like the shakes. I can't quite believe it. Next year there'll be even more and the year after that there'll be even more. So I think there's a really big movement happening for Australian basketball. The WNBA season starts next month. Duncan Huntsdale, ABC News. Hello there, Anthony Howard and Ty Neve. Ready to count down to tomorrow morning's Champions League return leagues. A big signing breaks his duck in the EPL. But first, a big Australian talent is heading for the WNBA. Absolutely, Howie. A huge day for the 19-year-old. No real surprise that UConn star Maya Moore was picked up with the first pick from Minnesota Lynx. And no shock that Cambage went to Tulsa. With the second pick in the 2011 WNBA draft, the Tulsa Shock select Elizabeth Campage from Australia. Yeah, lots of smiles, and that is how it all went down right here at the ESPN studios in the USA. Fellow Aussie Rachel Jarry was also selected with the number 18 pick by the Atlanta Dream. So who is this rising star? Well, she's six foot eight or 2.03 metres, seven centimetres taller than Lauren Jackson, by the way. She was named this season's WNBL MVP. The 19-year-old will get paid a rookie salary of nearly $47,000. And after today, there have been 19 Aussies to make it all the way to the WNBA. So let's throw it over to Jason Bennett, who's with our new Aussie abroad. An amazing story, a young girl who takes up basketball at the age of 10 and by 19 she's picked number two in the WNBA draft. Ms Campage, congratulations, what a day it's been. You're a superstar, you're yeah. trending worldwide on Twitter, it's all happening. I hope everyone's following me on Twitter, are they? I hope so. How's your day been? Tell us about the moment leading up to the selection and then the big moment itself. Leading up all morning was just like, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But then finally they were like, number two choice Tulsa takes and they said my name I was like 
Really? Did that just happen? It's really happening. So yeah, it's been an awesome afternoon. And since then, it's been an absolute roller coaster. We've been yeah. following you around here at ESPN. You've done. You must have done 25 interviews, I think. You're, you're on. Plus. You're on the phone. You're tweeting at the same time. You're speaking to people in Australia. Your friends, your family, yeah. people in Tulsa. It's been crazy. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with everyone, and but everything's happening, and I just can't keep up. I'm sorry. Yeah. And you're off tonight to Tulsa to yes. go and have a look at the place because obviously you haven't been there yet. So what are you expecting? Nice. Catholic little religious town, nice and quiet. Some people are tweeting me to come eat at their place. Then there's a sushi place that they want me to come. I'll go. I love sushi. Yeah. Now, you've got the options on the table now for you to to come and play in the WNBA. You can stay in Australia. Mm -hmm. You can go to Europe. Mm -hmm. You've got to sit down now and assess exactly what you want to do and what's going to happen and what things are going to look like for you over the next 12 months. I know that I'm going to play in the WNBA. Like I'll come home, I'm home Monday, and I pack up all my stuff and say goodbye to everyone. But after that, I really don't know. I'll be home end of September, and I don't know what I'm doing after that yet. Of course, 2012 is a, an Olympic year, mm -hmm. and I know that playing in the Australian Olympic team means the world to you. So obviously, that's going to be a huge priority. Yeah, making the Olympics has been an all-time dream, all-time goal of mine. So I want to do whatever it takes to make that team and. You know, if that means staying behind in Australia, I guess I'm going to have to do it. So many people, there's been such an outpouring of goodwill today. I know I've spoken to your mum and she said she's getting texts and emails from people all over Australia. All the friends you've made in basketball over the years. It's just a great day of celebration, isn't yeah. it? Everyone's so happy for you. It's, it's awesome. Just like all my friends and all the support I have back home. It just makes you feel all warm and bubbly inside knowing that you've got so many people to support you. Look down the barrel, look over here at camera two and yes. give a, a message to Australia. All those people that got up at five o'clock this morning, <laughs> the bleary eyed got through their day to hear you selected by the Tulsa Shock. I love you guys. Uh, some of you even stayed up all night. I don't know how they did it. You guys are awesome and I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Lizzie, congratulations. We're so thrilled for you and we really look forward to having you over here in the US with us and following the journey as it pans out over the next 12 months. Thank you. It was five o'clock in the morning in Australia when the draft went to air on ESPN. It was a full house at Chateau Cambage for the announcement. This collection of teammates and friends, of course, were not surprised, but no less pleased to hear her name called second by the Tulsa Shock. It's ex extremely significant. I think that um, to have our young players being able to, uh, to play their game and, and, and learn their skills and then take it to America and show the world how good they are is a, is a great moment. And uh, congratulations to Lizzie. Lizzie can be a, a bigger player than more, but I understand it's safer to take an American player. Um, uh, for American teams because there's no uh, international clashes. But um, I, Lizzie's just going to be a superstar in that league. You're treated like an absolute superstar and all the glamour that goes along with it. But And Liz is going to experience that now. But uh, definitely before your, your basketball career finishes, you want to have an opportunity to play in the, uh, in the WNBA because it's something special. To basketball now, an Australian rising star, Elizabeth Cambage, has been selected at number two overall in the WNBA draft in Connecticut this morning. The 19-year-old rookie will join Tulsa Shock ahead of the season opener, which tips off in June, with Cambage following in the footsteps of fellow Opal Lauren Jackson, who was drafted number one pick ten years ago. It was a morning to remember for WNBL champions the Bulleen Boomers and their teammate Liz Cambridge, who again tasted success. This time on an international stage, the 19-year-old receiving second pick in this year's WNBA draft. The Tulsa Sharks select Elizabeth Cambridge. This year's most valuable player in the WNBL follows in the footsteps of fellow Aussies Lauren Jackson and Andrew Bogut, who were number one pick in the 2001 and 2005 drafts. And despite her rookie status, Cambridge is ready to prove herself in the world's biggest women's club basketball competition. I think the American League is a lot more physical than the Australian League and I'm a really physical player so I'm really excited to finally get out and play hard. At just over two metres, Cambridge averaged more than 22 points and eight rebounds for Bulleen last season playing an integral part in handing the Boomers their first WNBL title.
while her coaches believe she'll make a huge impact in the United States. Basketball Australia is hoping her draft will set the tone for the future generation of Australians playing abroad. It's really important that uh, they get that opportunity, go there and play in the WNBA, but then come back and uh, and make sure that they, uh, they, they ply their trade here in Australia. Cambridge is just the 19th Australian to make it to the WNBA. And although her starting salary of $46,000 is low compared to those who've gone before her, her signing opens doors for a successful future, most notably in Europe. The WNBA season tips off in June. Adriana Gain, World News Australia.